Hey guys, this is Noel from creationeffects.com with another really cool effect for your footage. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the Van Gogh effect, which is an After Effects template that lets you just drop in your footage and it turns it into a moving painting in the uh, style of post-impressionist painter Vincent Van Gogh. And you can see there are a couple different options that you can choose from, and you can customize both of them using simple controls. The first option is inspired by the style of his most famous painting, which is Starry Night. And you can see I made a quick photoshopped image of what the Starry Night landscape might have looked like. And when I apply the effect to it, you can see it really captures the look of that painting with the uh, swirly brush strokes here. And actually, even though he's known for his swirls, if you look at most of his paintings, he didn't do the swirls much. He mostly used short, wavy brush strokes. And uh, the second option is designed to imitate that style. And it gives you a lot of control over the brush strokes. For example, you can use short vertical brush strokes for areas of your subject that uh, need a lot of detail, and then use large angled or less detailed strokes for the background. So let me show you how to use the template. It's really easy. Uh, the first thing you'll do is unzip the zip file that you downloaded, and then open up the project file inside. And then you'll see instructions here, which will tell you to import your footage and put it in this comp here named Your Footage. So let's do that before we do anything else. I'll go to File and Import and File. And I'll choose my footage or image file and I'll click OK. And it'll show up in here, so just drag it into the Your Footage comp. And then you can open either Van Gogh effect. I'll open the Van Gogh effect 1, which is the uh, simpler one. So you can preview this, and if you want, you could export it as it is. Or, if you select this layer here named Control Layer, and then open your Effect Controls panel, you'll see a bunch of controls for customizing the effect. And you can make all sorts of adjustments to the brush strokes and the movement of the swirls, or the size of the swirls, or the brightness or saturation and color variation. Uh, so I'd like to encourage you to just play with those and find the best look for your footage. And just a quick piece of advice, if your animation presets are showing, you'll want to hide those to conserve space. So to do that, you can go to this little icon here and uncheck Show Animation Presets. I'll close that comp, and then open the Van Gogh Effect 2 comp. Uh, this one has a lot more going on in it, and it's probably closer to a real painting because it uses an authentic paint texture. Uh, you'll probably notice that it runs slower than the other comp, and that's partly because the comp resolution is set to full here. And you can set it to half or less if you want, and the comp will run faster, but it also changes how your preview will look. And you can see if I choose third resolution, the uh, brush strokes get all big. Um, your final exported video won't be affected, but it does make a big difference in how the effect looks in here. Anyway, to customize the effect, you can select the control layer again. And you'll see in the Effect Controls panel, you have a ton of controls for customizing. So it'll look really intimidating at first, but it's not that bad once you understand it. Uh, these are all organized into categories. So the first category is Universal Controls. And these are the main controls that affect the painting as a whole. So you can adjust the brightness or saturation and set how much of the canvas texture you want to show through or how much of the paint texture you want. Um, you've got some displacement controls, and that refers to the waviness of the uh, paint strokes. And if you look at these other categories of controls, uh, you'll see there are layer 1 controls, and layer 2 controls, layer 3, and layer 4. And these controls will allow you to customize the brush strokes for individual sections of the painting. And to help you understand better what's going on, I'll go down here and I'll isolate just the layer 1 paint strokes layer. And this layer 1 section only shows the brightest areas of your footage. And using the layer 1 controls, we can make changes that only affect that area of your footage. So you can change the paintbrush size and the length of the brush strokes. Or you can change the angle of the brush strokes. And you can make the stroke straight or wavy uh, using the displacement controls. And also, with this matte threshold slider, you can expand or contract the area that's affected by these controls. So the next layer, layer 2, is similar, but it shows even more of the image. 
uh, using the brightness of the footage as sort of its guide to uh, determine how much to show. And you've got all the same controls for layer 2 and layer 3 and layer 4 in here uh, on the control layer. The whole effect is designed so that you can be the painter, essentially, and you can decide how you want the brush strokes. A couple other things in this comp worth mentioning, uh, you can choose to use just one layer with this checkbox control at the top, and that will show uh, just layer one and hide all the other layers. Also, this comp has an outline effect, which is on by default, so you can turn it off by hiding this layer if you want. And then with that layer selected, you have a lot of options for customizing the outline here in the effect controls panel. And finally, the stop motion effect is off by default. That's this layer here. So you can turn that on and it will lower the frame rate of the animation and give it that choppy, jittery look like you saw in the demo. Again, you can customize the stop motion effect using the controls in the effect controls panel while the uh, stop motion effect layer is selected. Also, I want to warn you that the stop motion effect it doesn't seem to always play nice with After Effects Creative Cloud. It works fine in earlier versions of After Effects, but in Creative Cloud it might make your comp take a really long time to load the, uh, the first frame. And then after that first frame loads, the rest of the comp loads and renders at a normal speed, but uh, that's just something to be aware of. The last thing I want to show you is this extras folder. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but you'll definitely want to peek inside here because you might find some stuff that you can use. There's a bunch of frame images and some animated mats, and you have some alternate paint textures uh, you can use and an alternate canvas textures. If you want to experiment with these, I'll just show you real quick the technique for swapping out media. I'll open one of the comps that has the paintbrush textures in it, uh, this is the animated brush texture comp, and it has a couple layers here which are just paintbrush texture images. And to swap these out with a different texture, just select one or both the layers, and then go to the project panel and select the, uh, the new image that you want to use. And then with them all selected, you just hold down the Alt or Option key and then drag the new item onto the existing layer. And that will swap out the source file of this layer while preserving all of the effects and expressions that are on this layer. And the last thing to show you in this extras folder is this comp called copy and paste effects. Open that up and you'll see a number of optional effects here. Uh, your footage will already be in this comp, so you can just unhide a layer to see what the effect does. And if you like it, you just copy and paste that whole layer into your Van Gogh comp. So that's everything I want to show you. Uh, you'll be able to make some really cool Van Gogh paintings now. If you like this effect, you'll love the other stuff on creationeffects.com. Uh, there's a template called Creation Art Effects, which includes this effect and many more, uh, so that you can just drop in your footage and turn it into a moving piece of art in just about any art medium that you want. And that includes pencil and pen and watercolor, charcoal, chalk, claymation, graffiti, paper cutouts, halftone prints, and a whole lot more. So that's it. Thanks for watching and enjoy the effects.